I'm Aaron Merch from 2H Media. In this video, we're going to take a look at the number content type in Shopify's online store 2.0. On the meta field definition screen, I've already entered a title and description for the meta field and selected the number content type. I've called the meta field layers and described its contents as the number of times the steel was folded in the production of the product. The number content type allows us to require our internal users to enter very specific kinds of numbers. With integer selected, our internal users will only be able to enter whole numbers. With decimal selected, our internal users will be able to enter a number with a decimal value. Within the validation section, we can choose a minimum and a maximum value for this field. The maximum precision field allows us to restrict the number of characters that can be entered after the decimal place. In this example, we're going to require an integer input because we only want to accept whole numbers. We're also going to enter a minimum and maximum value to require internal users to enter a value within this range. Now that we're happy with our meta field settings, let's click Save and navigate to a product page so we can see how this looks in the back end of Shopify. Our new meta field appears at the bottom of the product page. When we click into the field, a single line text field appears, allowing us to enter a value. The description of the meta field also appears below the text field. This numeric value can be displayed in the front end of Shopify by dynamically linking this meta field to a template. It could also be used by a dedicated developer to create numerous custom integrations. To better understand how to display meta field content in the front end of Shopify, check out our video on creating a meta field in Shopify's online store 2.0.